Wow! Well, hello guys, hello, hello, hello. <gasps> Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading for you again today. <gasps> oh, wow, 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 wow. Do you know what? Wow, thank you everybody for all your comments, your emails, you know, even subscriptions. I don't know what's going on, but it's blowing away. So, uh, you know, that's brilliant. Absolutely, thank you. And just tell as many people... Uh, as you can so i'm going to be sticking to the uh two videos uh, a day at least and then uh we're shaping up with the missing persons i say wait it's me <laughs> yes I, uh, I i'm getting there so uh well, i'm just tweaking it so that should be uh sometime this week we've got some good things coming up as well this garden is just about bloody finished today uh my husband is uh putting on the the last uh half bag of the uh the green gravel oh it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful i've never been so excited about rocks and stones in my life oh i keep looking at it it's like emerald <laughs> okay so uh, i think uh on sunday in uh the readings uh, uh every every time in the morning i'll because i was doing a, a full day ahead like uh i, I picked a, a a card uh to see how just the mood of the day so anyway and i don't I don't do it like every day or anything. It's just every few weeks. Otherwise, it loses its uh, power to me. You know what I mean? So uh, you use the cards too much on yourself. It just reduces into your day to day because, of course, you're not going to have a big wedding and you're not going to have a big love affair and nobody's having an affair on that moment in time. So, yeah, those kind of things. Anyway, I got the Ten of Swords and I said, oh, that's a card set to ruin my day. Uh, and then I drew the uh, five of swords, uh, spite, you know, uh, reversed. So basically that meant somebody was going to be caught out and be humiliated. Well, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I'm thinking I've got three, three uh, sessions today. What the hell is going on? Honest to God, am I going to, you know, what, what have I done? Because straight away, you know, I just go into guilt mode uh, and there's nothing, you know. <laughs> there's nothing I just do. I just revert to that. So I was thinking, oh, freaking hell. Anyway, I got a phone call saying that uh, my mum's my cat uh, had been run over uh, and it had a bone sticking out of its leg uh, and that there was uh, trying, to, trying to catch it to get it to the uh, vet's. So it was like all distressing really and I was thinking oh bloody hell bloody hell. Anyway they rang me about half past ten on the night and said oh we can't find the cat, I ain't come back neither. Uh, and of course my mum's took the tracker off that I bought it, you know, and the collar with a name and a, a contact number. And I was thinking oh my god this, you know, this cat could be laid under a bench etc. Anyway, uh, they said oh we can't find the cat we'll just have to wait for it to come back so all night i was feeling sick anxious uh, really worried didn't sleep much at all uh felt terrible felt guilty everything because you know i mean it's got nothing to do with me it's not my fault but that's how i i, I roll i suppose anyway so cut a long story short went to pick the cat up in the morning uh, was told by the carers uh, it was in the house so i went in I need to say try and low for it. My mum's saying it's behind the sofa, checked. It's behind the chair, checked. So it could be in the bedroom, checked, you know. Uh, and really, do you know what? I, where it was? It was hid under my mum's coffee table. Anyway, my mum gets uh, a bit waked up when I'm about. So I, I was like trying to rush in and out. And plus, I, I, I was in a taxi. I know, uh, 120 quid it cost me. But anyway, forget that. So, uh I can't drive. I've got. I had a mild form of epilepsy, and every time I just uh, went to pass my test and everything, uh, I'd have a fit. And I started again even last year, thinking, "Oh, I'm all right," you know. Uh, and uh, I had a seizure in the car going on to uh, the A63, which was absolutely terrifying for the driving instructor. You know, it was like I just disappeared uh, and then came back down again. You know, so um, so. I, and my husband was away with his dad. Uh, I told him to, uh, they had uh, a show to go to on Sunday and he wasn't going to be back. And I wasn't ringing him uh, to, to drag him back. It's, you know, he deserves his time. So anyway, yeah, I picked up this cat. It cried when I picked it up. I tried looking, but she was wiggling her leg. So I had this box, which stressed me out as well because they said, where's the cat box? And my mum's obviously teffed the cat box out. So I said, oh, I'm, I've got a box. I, uh, I'll put her in that. And I think they weren't expecting a cardboard box. So, of course, that's adding to uh, my anxiety. Puts Lily in the box with a nice blanket. I tried to have a look and I couldn't see anything, but I didn't want to touch her 
because like she was crying a bit and um i just didn't want to to do anything so i just put her in the box got her in uh, and then went off to the vets well i can honestly say i've never been so humiliated in my life gets that cat out one of my on her she was bouncing all over the place <laughs> <laughs> God knows what my brother and sister-in-law had seen, but you know, I mean, honest, uh, and uh, to make things worse, they took me last ninety-seven pound off me, and I was like, <sighs> well, we'll give her an injection and antibiotics. Anyway, when I uh, gets uh, takes the cat back, still in this taxi, that's why it was there all day. Three hours I was in that car. <laughs> took it back and went is she all right when she's absolutely fine i said i've got a girl so <laughs> i rushed out of there gets in the taxi and on the way home i'm texting my brother and i went you know was you two tripping last night or something there's no blood there's no mark not even a, a scratch on that cat so apparently uh it was my sister-in-law thought she saw something and my brother just went along with it uh, well, they was well caught out. Anyway, they nicely transferred me uh, my money back uh, for for the whole day. <laughs> anyway, it'll give them a laugh, won't it, for the next 10 years. It wasn't funny to me. I came back. Do you know what? Once I stopped worrying, I was asleep. I was asleep within hours because uh, I think you're adrenaline, isn't it? Oh, I was having nightmares. So. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Anyway, that's that. So let's get on with it then. We want to know about uh, does... Uh, you know how does harry feel uh, about uh the air shot going to the usa okay because i've noticed uh i've got a video on co cop cop you only need a d on that don't you and you're describing a, a, a breathing condition uh yeah so cop 23 i think they're doing it this year and then they go to egypt but i'll do a different video on that because it's rather interesting Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to look now how uh, Harry feels about William coming uh, to uh, the States with air shot because it's only a couple of months to next year. Isn't it scary? Isn't it scary? Let's have a look then. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There you go. So was it... I can't remember which one he didn't want to watch, you know. Oh, this should be interesting then. I've just had a thought there. Okay. So uh, how did Harry feel uh, about uh, hearing? Because he didn't watch it, did he? Somebody did. She did. He didn't. He refused to, uh, you know. Right, so... Uh, Yeah, how did Harry feel when he heard about uh, F shot coming to the uh, USA? <laughs> not happy. I can tell you now, not happy. Oh, he wants to say a strip of somebody. <laughs> oh, yes, look at that. His brother is thinking, you little shit. Okay, this is uh, their little shit syndrome card, you know, <laughs> where people. Uh, just deliberately stir things up uh, for the sake of it. Uh, and that's exactly what he's thinking of his brother. What an awful thing to say, really. I think, you know, because literally, uh, F shot, Harry, the world is uh, bigger than just you, you know. So I, I would say he's not happy about that at all. Uh, you know, uh, uh, it's as if you're invading my territory. Because, you know what, years ago, uh, I, I know this when... Um, when I was younger, right, so if you went out with your boyfriend and you split up, right, and you went to your favourite nightclub all the time, one person would agree uh, not to be there because, you know, they don't want to be seeing anything in this, that and the other. And that is exactly uh, how uh, Harry's mentality is on this, okay? Don't come where I am, you know. Uh, you know, it's like a competition because they're both... Harry, him and Megan always think it's a competition. They live their lives by a competition. So, so much for me. I couldn't do that. I just couldn't. I'm unique anyway. Hi, I'm bloody well unique. <laughs> oh dear. Right, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so he's thinking you're doing it on badness, on purpose, uh, uh, you know, because he thinks uh, 
this war with his brother because he feels it so much so it's it must be going on you know um that yeah is just constantly comparing and because he feels like that you know because he feels like that uh he assumes his brother's doing it it's in harry it's not in william you know anybody can say that okay uh why does uh harry feel this way you know why does he feel like his brother's been an asshole and uh in corruption Right, so I get this is quite uh, emotional for Harry, okay? This is uh, emotional. Uh, so this is, he feels emotional about it. He feels like uh, there should uh, not be uh, any presence uh, in the USA uh, with the royals. That He's always seen the royals as being absolutely, uh, you know, to the UK only. Uh, and hearing that his brother's USA bound, uh, you know, he, obviously he knows that popularity is at risk you know i mean harry you're not popular you know you're not pop popular now do you know what i think this f shot was in the making for a, a few years you know before you get it all together uh, and i feel like harry uh turned down that opportunity and didn't want to get involved okay uh he didn't want any involvement but this would have been talked about uh between him kate and uh william okay so these are his feelings uh not just the way that these are his natural feelings, you know. Uh, they aren't made up or encouraged by Megan either, I'm afraid. Uh, this is all him. So he thinks they should stay away. Stay away! Doesn't want them to have the, their popularity. He doesn't want them to be able to see the warmth uh, and the joy and uh, the regalness of it all, you know. Harry and Meghan are, are, are now little more than, uh, you know, your back-end uh, celebrities. Uh, I, I think even the likes of uh, Gemma Collins over here uh, and Katie Price get more uh, celebrity stuff than, you know, they're on par with that, basically. You know, they're on par with that, which is basically, I mean, I love Katie. You know? <laughs> Gemma throws me sometimes, but I love her too. Um, these are big, like, car crashes in the UK that's all I can say literally car crashes uh but you know so and I feel like they're on par with that there so unbecoming uh on on par but Harry is being re unrealistic you know Harry is unrealistic how can you expect just the royals to stay on this side of the Atlantic uh when it is a wild event okay and after the USA it will go somewhere else it will go for the next five years I thought it was 10 so excuse my maths I thought it was uh 10 years 50 million uh so but uh babs babs you kept me right thank you uh so yeah uh he's blocked isn't he he's outside he's having them it's oh i suppose uh he feels it's uh it's just all over, isn't it? This, this is it. I'm struggling with all these uh, uh, emotions. There's everything going through. Everything, you know. Uh, he's, he's thinking, oh, I didn't want to be part of it. Uh, now, then he's thinking, oh, the, you know, I'm blocked from the royal family, you know. Uh, I, I could never be involved uh, or find my way back, you know. He had options, but he went for the easiest one, didn't he? He went for the easiest one. Uh, money. Selling your family out and being nasty. You're just, uh, you know, you're the bad, uh, you're the baddie in a, a, the worst panto you've ever seen. So that's how he feels, okay? That's how he feels. Did I say that? That's how he feels, yeah. Uh, so why does he feel this way then, Harry? Why do you feel uh, that, you know, the world's against you? <laughs> Oh, he's got something coming out. He's got something uh, coming out. You know, he thinks it's because he's bigger than everybody. Uh, you know, there's a surprise coming our way. No shit, Sherlock. You know, we do know this. You know, uh, we've we've predicted something is coming, um, and he, he's getting ready for it. Uh, and 
He thinks he's the ones with all the ideas that he's setting a precedent that him and Megan, you know, are, are always uh, coming out with new ways of, of thinking. He's got some coming out. He's got something coming out, uh, and uh, he, he wants to take the the shine off it. You know, he wants to take the shine off it. I think, uh, you know, he's angry with his brother. He is angry, angry. But the problem is, William was never the problem. It's Harry, you know, it's Harry. People sometimes just can't sit round uh, after a while, too long, and say, you know, your partner is uh, ruining you, you know. Sometimes we have that conversation, or oh, you're not happy, you know, you're not happy. Sort it out, you're not happy in whatever way. Uh, and I think that's where the anger comes from. That's where he thinks, uh, well... He was angry anyway about it, but then Megan will put a stance in saying they're jealous of us, you know, uh, we're bigger than them. I mean, there's some right jerky shit in the paper saying, uh, you know, uh, Megan and uh, Caff uh, sorry, Megan and Harry saved, uh, you know, made, what was it? Uh, something like, uh, I think it was GOTV, so yeah, uh, just saying shit like, oh, they was more popular, uh, that uh, they got uh, more money for charities, you know, and that since uh, they left, they they are responsible for making uh, William and, and Catherine, uh, you know, more popular. And then in the next breath, you're getting one that says, uh, you know, uh, the, the royals are dwindling in popularity. Well, certainly Kate and Williams are not, okay? I can understand some other members of the family that are losing popularity, okay? But I, I don't see that as being William. So, yeah, he's getting something out. He's getting something out. And you know what? There's trickery in it. So if there's trickery, there's lies, there's exaggerations, uh, and that could only come in uh, the form of something that is coming ahead, okay? Uh, uh, so... That's why he feels like it, because he's got his projects and he wants to be there and he's the big man now. Are you? Are you, Harry? Harry? Okay, uh, so what action then is uh, on the back of how he feels about his brother in the air shot USA, what's Harry going to do now then? What's he going to come out with? Because we know he's doing something. Oh, we'll go. Wow, all right, but I don't think it's in a good way. Wow, Harry, you've sunk real low this time. What's he coming out with? Okay, something we know, something we know more about suffering, suffering uh, and others, okay? So, uh, he suffered. I don't know. I'm just saying this, okay? I'm just saying what I feel. So, you got the five of uh, ones here. Generally, like... Uh, you know, competition and arguing. Uh, this is like not being involved and learning a lesson, a lesson learned, a lesson learned. Could be about something that goes wrong uh, and out of learn afterwards. Is that it? You know, is it? Is it that with the royal family and his royal status again? I just found that, you know, that the people around him in this sort uh, of like uh, context uh, and it's words, I don't know whether it's spoken or, or read, but others are unprofessional as well. So is this person uh, like Andrew Morton, okay, who's got, it, well, he's just a vulture, isn't he? He's just a, a vulture and I, I don't think he's ever been a strong supporter of the, the, the monarchy at all, so... I think they may use uh, him uh, as well with coming out with and revealing more stuff. But whoever's with Harry, you'll think, what? Notice James Corden staying away. Right, I, I like that guy. I do. And do you know what? I think he's not about games. He's not about games. I know, like, you can be manipulated, do you know what I mean? To say, oh, well, do you know what? I think they're great. I think they're great. Uh, uh, and happy he won't be telling a lie because that's what's being portrayed to him okay so he's not lying but he's definitely not playing games hence i don't see him uh sniffing uh, around the sussexes at all okay people know people know 
And I mean, uh, uh, all these sharks swim in the same circle, you know. You know, I don't know if they're all related management-wise, but uh, e even the ones, uh, some of them, uh, I don't know. They all they all want the fame game, don't they? It's like a little click, I think, uh, and you can't be sure of any of them. Okay, so how will this show itself to us? You know, is it going to be in the form of a book? Is it going to be a, a, a TV program? Is it going to be, you know, a, a news outlet with uh, or this Andrew Martin uh, coming out? Because he's just building up, you know, he's Andrew Martin, I feel. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, uh, I'm right. I, uh, I, I feel like... Uh, they're going to team up with somebody, they're teaming up and it's more than one person, okay, uh, they're teaming up and then because they're teaming up, it strengthens them, okay, it strengthens them, um, <clears throat> getting two, two, the number two will be important, okay, I think it's a, uh, an unlikely one, you know, uh, uh, an unlikely one. That could be Andrew Martin, you know. It's going to come out physical. I say something physical. I feel something built. I feel something uh, that you can touch maybe, you know. It's physical. It's physical. Let's get physical. <gasps> physical. No, uh, yeah, so that could be like a, a real thin book. A real thin book. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. A real thin book. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's how it'll manifest. Okay, so what will be the consequences uh, of uh, Meghan and Harry, uh, you know, doing this? The consequences are that... W The consequences are that we will feel like uh, I'm getting that they haven't passed this on, okay? So they haven't passed this on. Uh, they freaking have. They freaking have. Uh, information not passed on. So are they going to say they had nothing to do with it? Are they going to say that? You can't trust that, Andrew Martin. He's a liar. He came out and said Diana didn't do the book and then said she did. Wh which was the truth, uh, Martin? And how long did your friendship survive afterwards? Uh, you know, um, there are all, I don't really know much about that kind of era. I mean, I was 18, I think, or 19. Uh, I, I wasn't interested, so... Oh, that might have been when she passed away. So I was a young kid. I wasn't really interested. We all had to watch uh, uh, the big wedding, though. Oh, I remember that. Mum and Dad made us sit down and watch it. So, uh, so they'll probably say uh, they didn't have anything to do with it. Eh? They'll say they didn't have anything uh, to do with it. Or maybe Andrew or, or whoever it is. But... They'll say they didn't have anything to do with it. You said you didn't have out to do with uh, scurbies, uh, but you bloody did. You bloody did. It could be as well, you know, we don't hear about this for, for weeks, okay? We don't hear about uh, this uh, for, for weeks. Something with a job as well. I kind of feel like uh, the, there is no work, uh, so uh, not working. So it could be that they're not working with a, a certain company uh, anymore. And I think they're not going to talk to somebody. Somebody? Somebody else you're not going to talk to? <laughs> oh, my God. It's a shame it in the press. I think they'll get a bad press as well. Well, they're getting one, but I don't know. It kind of gets uh, weirder. Okay. Uh, What's the outcome then, guys? What's the outcome? Come on, tell us. Come on, tell us. It's all created illusions, back doors, front doors, side doors. A lot of people are going to be making uh, a lot out of this, okay? A lot of people are going to make a lot out of this. <clears throat> You 
you could get more on the p political side. Uh, you could hear about, uh, you know, um, Harry's dreams, uh, you know, what his other dreams was. I don't think we know what his other dreams was. And Meghan's dreams of political, uh, you know, fortune. <coughs> So whatever this is, this information that is coming our way, whatever he's partnered up with uh, and what's said, I'm going to say to you, it's made up, you know. So I'm not saying that it's right. There's, with the Seven of Swords, that's out and out telling a, a lie, okay? Telling a lie, having told absolute whoppers, okay? Whereas uh, the Seven of Cups to me is still like uh, making things up, make believe, creating stuff. So I think everybody will go wild uh, with these stories, you know. Um, however, just take it with a pinch of salt because I don't feel like, you know, it is very creative, okay. Uh, and so they've created something as well, haven't they? They've uh, created somebody. So, mm. Do you think this is anything to do with uh, another concert coming up? <laughs> I must ask, uh, you know, he's done it. He's getting creative. Maybe he's going to make a record. <laughs> Wouldn't that be mad? <laughs> record. Uh, what is it? Break the record. Breaking records. Play the record. Stop the record. Oh, they're always recording. They're recording. Record. Record record <laughs> there's some at there okay uh but yeah i i, I think uh he, he's really pissed off he's gonna try and create uh, his own award ceremony himself or something you know uh he, he he can't they can't come up with something so what they can do is they can take somebody's idea like thoughts about thoughts eh? and this that and the other uh and do something similar you know, they they plan something uh, similar. Again, I do feel like it's all like a uh, hot air where you just announce uh, announce something new, announce, uh, and then you never quite hear of it. You know. Well, what? Well, let's see, let's see. But it's uh, it's any time soon. You know, <laughs> I think it's going to be about a week. Uh, I give it a week, uh, maybe before we start uh, this whatever it is comes through. But he's up to something uh, and he's just, you know, he's going to try and do something. This with his brother means there's something maybe similar, uh, you know. So if his brother was doing climate change with these projects, then Harry might do... Uh, Harry might do his airplane, travel list. Travel list. Expect that to come up then, because that's budget as well, isn't it? And you have to you have to shop around uh, for the cheapest or most expensive uh, way to fly uh, without a carbon footprint. I mean, really, guys, I think that should be uh, down to the bloody airlines, don't you? Uh, we pay them our money, so they can they make obscene profits as well, obscene. Okay, yeah, so I, I kind of think uh, it will lead in somewhere with that. So something again with uh, the, the climate. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> right, well, that was that one once here. On to the next. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs>